Hello there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we'd take a look at how I've set up my Fuji X camera to tether using Capture One Express software. To get us started, we're going to need four things. Firstly, of course, we're going to need a Fuji X camera. We'll also need um, a USB cable that fits your camera. And we need two pieces of software and those are Capture One Express for Fuji and we'll also need Fuji X Acquire. Now for this demo I'm going to be using my Fuji X H1 and my camera has a USB Micro B port on it. I don't know if all Fuji X cameras are the same so you may need to check that. So my USB cable is a USB 3 at one end, the fat end which is the end you put into your computer. And at the business end, I have a USB micro B plug, which goes into the camera. Next, we need to check some camera menu settings before we plug in the USB cable. In the setup menu, select save data setup and then select PC connection mode. Next, select USB tether shooting auto. This option will allow your images to be saved to both your camera and to your PC. Now go back to the setup menu and select power management. Make sure here that the auto power off um, option is in the off position. That is all the uh, menu settings done now. So you can now plug in your USB cable into your camera and we'll now take a quick look at the software. The Fuji X Acquire software is just an interface really that will allow you to um, send and save images from your camera to your computer. And that's pretty much all it does. But without this software installed on your computer and up and running at the time that you're tethering, you won't be able to um, automatically copy your images to the computer. Once you've installed the uh, Fuji X Acquire software, then double click on the icon on your desktop, but don't be too surprised if nothing happens. Now what you may see is a gray bar that will show you whether or not your camera is um, connected or not, and will also show you your camera settings. If you don't see this, don't worry. We just need to change some settings in the system tray at the bottom right corner of your computer. To do this, left click on the up arrow on the bottom right corner of your computer. Find the icon for the Fuji Acquire software and right click on that and then you will see some uh, preferences. Under the Preferences File Type tab, you need to select the file types of um, images, i.e. JPEG or RAW, that you want saved to the camera and also to your computer. The remaining two tabs are not important at this point, so just click OK to close the Preferences option. Next, go back to the Fuji X Acquire options in the system tray but this time select the specify destination folder. Now you can select where you want your images saved on your computer and then press OK. And the final setting you need to be aware of in Fuji X Acquire is if you want to see this grey um, work bar here which shows whether or not your camera is active and um, it will also give you your camera settings then go back to the system tray and select show window and finally just two quick settings we need to make in um, Capture One Express so double click on the icon on your desktop for that once the app is open select camera at the top of the screen and then ensure that hot folder is enabled once you've enabled that then select hot folder and specify the location you want the um, files to go to and then you are done so we should be just about there now so if you're happy that you've done the camera menu settings um, that we went through at the beginning you've attached a cable correctly 
and your USB cable needs to be attached directly to your computer, not to a USB hub. And both applications need to be up and running and you have to specify the file location in both applications. Um, so if you've done all that, you're now ready to take a test shot and hopefully you'll see those images appear into um, Capture One Express software. And that's it. Well, I think that just about wraps it up now. I'm no expert on this subject and um, I set up tethering on my Fuji for the very first time yesterday and it took me I'd say about 30 minutes um, to get it up and running um, and probably half of that time was spent trying to work out why nothing happened when I clicked on the Fuji X Acquire software I didn't see any instructions anywhere telling me that I needed to go to the system tray but apart from that it all went fairly fairly well for me anyway I wish you luck with it Thank you very much for your time and goodbye.